perhaps the most important in the out of Taiwan question is that of language. Uh, more than 300 million people in Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands speak closely related Austronesian languages. They share many aspects of language in terms of their vocabularies and the, the, the way they construct their speech. And linguists are in agreement that the oldest location for Austronesian languages that can be traced was Taiwan. And those languages therefore spread from Taiwan thousands of years ago into Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands. That is the linguistic evidence. If we now look at the archaeological evidence, that tells a similar story. Archaeologists look at the, the world created by humans and their artifacts and cultures for, of course, tens, thousands of years. As I said before, the uh, oldest stage of Austronesian <coughs> linguistics is located in Taiwan uh, possibly 5,000 years ago. It looks as though they remained in Taiwan without moving on for possibly a thousand years. But generally speaking it looks as though 4,000 years ago they went through the Philippines. By 3,500 years ago they were into Indonesia, in central Indonesia, Sulawesi, Borneo. Uh, at the same time they were pushing east and by 3,000 years ago they reached the islands of the Western Pacific and reached as far as islands called Tonga and Samoa in the middle of the Pacific. Uh, that was probably reached by at least 3,000, well, 1300 BC or something, maybe 1500 BC. And eventually, uh, by about a thousand years ago, they were settling the islands like Hawaii, Tahiti, New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand, however, wasn't reached until about um, uh, AD 1250, uh, in European historical terms, the Middle Ages. I mean, several thousand years after people started to migrate through Taiwan. The book from the conference that was held in Koror, in Palau, in, uh, when was it? It was October, or September, I think, 2019. Um, but the aim of the conference was basically to, I think, um, the, well, the aim of the conference was towards the uh, revitalization of Austronesian languages, especially in islands where perhaps people are no longer speaking them. I mean, Taiwan, of course, is, is in this uh, important in this context. Modern Taiwan is a, an, an island where the majority of the population speaks Chinese. Uh, many people still speak Austronesian languages. But I know a number of them are threatened and a number of them have disappeared, um, particularly in the last one or two hundred years, as Chinese settlement has increased in density across the island. So preserving these languages is very important. But to me, the Austronesian uh, concept, I suppose, is important. That people who speak Austronesian languages do share a common history. And, and I think that should be important for people. I think it is very important and I'm pleased that the Taiwan government can fund projects like this. I think it, it is important to me that, uh, that the Taiwan government, for instance, and all governments take steps to protect the cultural heritage of, of their people, especially of the people um, who belong to this, this grouping of mankind. The, the vast majority of the population are of recent Chinese uh, origin in the island. Um, but the indigenous population is, to me, uh, one of the crucial aspects of Taiwan that make Taiwan a very special place in the world. And I hope that Taiwanese can realize this and that the, um, the government can support the aspirations of the Austronesian-speaking population into the future.